We begin tonight with renewed controversy facing the Catholic Church. No pope has resigned his position since the 15th century. But if some critics had their way, that's exactly what Pope Benedict would do. This Holy Week has seen him defending the Vatican and himself against allegations that he knew about and failed to act on sexual abuse by priests years ago. But in one major scandal, his role may have been far more complicated than that, as our chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross reports. Brian? Cynthia, with growing questions about the role of Pope Benedict and the Catholic Church sex scandal, there is new attention to his handling, as Cardinal Ratzinger, of probably the most egregious, notorious case of them all, involving a priest with powerful connections inside the Vatican, who was also a drug addict and a pedophile. For years, despite repeated allegations that Father Marciel Maciel had sexually abused young men, Pope John Paul II continued to call him an important leader of Catholic youth. Father Maciel was a revered figure in the Vatican. He also had the advantage of being the greatest fundraiser of the modern church. Father Maciel was the founder of a little-known but well-financed Catholic order called the Legionaries of Christ. I think Father Maciel used money the way some politicians do in spreading it liberally to buy support, uh, both for himself and his religious order. Investigative journalist Jason Berry first broke the story of Father Maciel in 1997 and has tracked what he says is a decades-long trail of cash and gifts to top Vatican officials from Maciel. I think in hindsight, it's clear that he was trying to protect himself. And so he lavished gifts, generous, expensive gifts, on many members of the Roman Curia. And on top of that, he made a point of cultivating friendships with these men. And as a result, when the Vatican received allegations against Maciel, it touched off what appears to have been a high-level power struggle between the Vatican Secretary of State and then Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, now Pope Benedict. Father Maciel's Legionaries of Christ now operates in the United States and 23 other countries, with its well-manicured headquarters located in Rome, just a few miles from the Vatican. It was here, at this seminary and others, that Father Maciel was alleged to have molested some of the young men under his control as seminarians, going back to the 1950s. He pushed my hand into his pinus, and I didn't know anything about masturbation. And he says, hey, you don't know how to do it. Let me show you. Juan Vaca, a former priest now in his 70s and living in New York as a college professor, says he was one of some 30 boys abused by Father Maciel. I was the one who called them from their bedrooms to go to see Maciel. Vaca says Father Maciel rewarded him with special privileges, such as this private meeting with Pope Pius XII, and always assured him he was doing nothing wrong. But, Father, I think I committed a sin. Don't worry. I absolve you from your sin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It was in 1998 that Vaca and other former members of the Legion filed a formal legal case with the Vatican, asking for an investigation of Maciel. But for years, nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. Not a word. The man in charge of investigating was the then Cardinal Ratzinger. I wanted to ask you a question about uh, Father Maciel. Uh, no, I... Can you talk moment, about... I'm not so informed. He became upset when I tried to ask him about the Maciel case in 2002 and slapped my hands. Question. There's a question whether you uh, covered... No, 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 there's a question whether you... come to me... When Excuse the me. moment is given, not, not, not yet. Well, we're trying to ask okay. you questions. This is Thank you. Yeah. Behind Cardinal Ratzinger's reaction, says journalist Jason Berry, was the effort of the Vatican Secretary of State to protect Maciel. And Ratzinger basically got the message, do not go after this man. Berry says both Pope John Paul II and the Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Angelo Sedano emerged as Father Maciel's protectors. It's strikingly clear that John Paul II did not want to investigate Maciel, and Sedano was clearly the man who enforced that message to Ratzinger. 
Pope John Paul II's close relationship with Maciel and the Legionaries of Christ was no secret. He appeared in public frequently with Maciel before and after the allegations of sexual abuse became public, including this scene in Barry's documentary, Vows of Silence. Así como al padre Marcial Maciel. Barry says Cardinal Ratzinger became increasingly convinced the Maciel case was turning into a huge liability for the Vatican. And I think at that point, Ratzinger figured he had to do something on his own. And so he broke ranks with Sedano, broke ranks with the Pope, and ordered an investigation uh, of Maciel by a canon lawyer on his staff. A year after he began the investigation, Cardinal Ratzinger had become Pope Benedict. And a year later, he forced Maciel out of the Legionaries of Christ and into retirement, although he did not defrock him, strip him of his priestly powers. In the end, it was Ratzinger who took it on himself to investigate him. And despite mistakes that Ratzinger made in other cases, I think it is fair to say in the full light of history that he began to recognize the severity of this crisis. Did he go far enough? No. He should have excommunicated Maciel, and he should have immediately reigned in the Legion of Christ. Maciel died in 2008, and since then, more of the details of his astounding deception and sordid double life have become known. He fathered a daughter with one of his mistresses in Mexico. Two men have gone public on a Mexican radio station to claim they are the sons of Father Maciel, one claiming he was actually sexually abused by his father. The priest at the Legionaries of Christ, who once followed and defended Maciel so blindly, now acknowledge they were wrong. It was like you found out that your dad had been, you know, sleeping around with women the whole time you were growing up. That's what it felt like. You felt completely betrayed and shocked. And I just went to the chapel and I prayed. I said, how can this be true? The order at one point said, Father Marcial is in heaven. Do you believe that? Uh, <laughs> we entrust Father Marcial and all those who die to the mercy of God. Good thing I'm not in the judgment seat. Pope Benedict has one last big decision to make about the legionaries of Christ, whether to disband the order altogether. A Vatican spokesperson said a decision on that is expected in the coming months. His entire background as a theologian is that of a moral absolutist. He's basically a fundamentalist. Well, if he follows his instincts, and starts punishing, taking down those cardinals and bishops who covered up, and disbands the Legion of Christ, he can restore the integrity uh, of his image, of his office, of the papacy. I think he has the capacity to do that, but it would be a very brave step indeed for him to make. All of this is being closely followed by the men who came forward to make their allegations against Father Maciel more than 10 years ago and were branded liars and traitors for their trouble. In response to questions from Nightline, a Vatican official said only that the fate of the order will be decided after the end of April, following a report from five bishops who have conducted a full investigation of Maciel and how he was able to get away with this depraved double life for so long.